Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flaherty from Board Games in Bruin and The Sweet Spot, and today I want to talk about Greenland. It's a game that I don't think got uh, heralded enough. It's a fantastic game, has very good reviews, but I think it's one that everyone should have picked up. It is a game where there are three tribes in Greenland, the Tunit, the Norse, and the Thule, and you are trying to survive on the resources uh, while it becomes colder, um, while uh, pirate ships are bringing in uh, banned objects, tools, you need to find food. You might over, you know, uh, overfish a population. Um, you might uh, have tribal warfare. You might have to sell your daughter off to make something work out between you and other tribes, so you're not fighting. You might uh, be converted from uh, polytheism to monotheism, witch burnings, decimation of elders, venereal disease wipes you out. There's all types of stuff that goes on. It's very engaging. There's these biomes, the north and the south. You need marines to travel between the two. The temperature is moving. It becomes harder to succeed in your hunts. And uh, there are events that happen every day and these events might decimate a population, uh, might put a card in the table, something like that. And it's basically all little cards. Uh, they're literally this size. There's no big board. And the big board means a small footprint. Say it takes about an hour. There's a solo variant, basically where they're all working together and you're trying to make it. There's the two player, which I play a lot with my wife, which is wonderful. And three player is really cool. Um, there's a lot of rules and a lot of end notes. The end notes really enrich the game. Although I would probably like uh, more real estate inside the book to explain the rules better. This is very similar to another game I enjoy, Pax Pamir. And uh, Phil Eklund is now coming out with Biogenesis and Pax Renaissance. And you can read our interview on uh, board games in Burma as well. So the game is pretty cool. I would say, again, it takes like an hour. You're trading ivory, you have metal, blubber you're trying to you know, sustain on. Um, I think you're gonna find a very enriching uh, experience. It's currently not in print. He, he wanted me to make sure you know that. But I'm sure you can find a copy. Uh, if you can do it, you're gonna really benefit from it, okay? That's Greenland. Talk to you later.